is the name voltage dependent current order limit characteristics of the converter in this voltage dependent current order limit what is happening already you have discussed on y axis we are taking vd and x axis i am taking current in characteristics of the converter also i have discussed the same thing y axis vd x axis id va characteristics vd is the direct voltage of dc transmission line id is the direct current of dc transmission line this is the characteristic of the rectifier this is the characteristic of inverter in the correction also i have seen see here this is the in the power reversal you have seen the character this is the characteristic of rectifier this is the characteristic of the inverter then why correct for the inverter characteristic we have done the correction you see see this is the characteristic of rectifier this is the characteristic of inverter in the inverter characteristic we have done correction they are asked for 52 marks why correction is done in inverter characteristic why inverter correction is done anyone in inverter characteristic we have given positive slope instead of flat thing we have given some slope here see why in exam they ask for two marks i will ask also ask for two marks in the mid exam chapan why correction is done in inverter characteristic what is the reason is given positive slope why to avoid power fluctuations for overcoming the power fluctuations to overcome the power fluctuations we are giving positive slope if the oper actually operating point should be at the intersecting point but see here point b where it is it is away from the intersecting point of rectifier and inverter stations but see in the second case the operating point is somewhat closer to the intersection of the rectifier characteristic and inverter characteristic so when the operating point is far away from the intersecting point it is poorly operating point is not properly defined so we are if we give some slight uh, slope here positive slope if uh, even though the voltage is reduced here the intersection will be nearer to the the point b will be nearer to the intersection point so here operating point is not properly defined is poorly defined we are improving the operating point here when you improve the operating point automatically your power fluctuations will be reduced if suppose if station 1 is the rectifier station 2 is the inverter station 1 rectifier this current is idr id r means rectifier direct current of the rectifier this current is id i current of the inverter the difference between the rectifier current and inverter current is the current margin idm is the difference of rectifier current where the point here this point is idr rectifier current because this characteristic is for the rectifier rectifier current this is inverter current the difference of rectifier current and inverter current is the current margin so this is the st station one rectifier station two inverter now come to the voltage dependent current order limit this is the rectifier station id1 is the current at the rectifier this is the inverter characteristic with the sub slope you have given this is inverter characteristic id2 is the current of the inverter idm is the current margin in between the rectifier current minus inverter id1 minus id2 is idm current margin okay in voltage now what i am doing is see here now i am taking the reduced voltage i am reducing the voltage let us take rectifier voltage this is the rectifier actual voltage of the rectifier this one now here on the y axis we are taking voltage now i am reducing the voltage to vd1 rectifier volt this is rectifier voltage suppose if it is 10 volts i am reducing it to 5 volts 
rectifier voltage i am reducing it dotted line is reduced voltage reduced dc voltage of the rectifier similarly vd1 is the voltage at the rectifier now inverter this is the inverter voltage now i am reducing the inverter voltage also vd2 i am reducing the voltage of the inverter also to vd2 okay this is the reduced voltage of the inverter is it clear what i am doing this is the rectifier voltage actual voltage now i am reducing it to some lesser value rectifier voltage. similarly inverter voltage also i have reduced i have reduced the inverter voltage okay now see here from point e and point c this is the inverter slope this is the why positive slope is given just now i had told to the inverter why positive slope is given to the inverter endi kisthunnam to avoid power fluctuations to avoid the power fluctuations and and to improve the operating point and for improving the operating point okay that is the reason why inverter characteristic is given slight slope to properly define the operating point here so this is the slope so parallel to this slope so this is the reduced voltage of the rectifier from these two points i am taking this point and this point this point is inverter this is inverter this point c is rectifier this is the rectifier characteristic point this is inverter characteristic point i am drawing two lines here how i am drawing these two lines parallel to this slope parallel to ba ee point nunchi oka line ex with the same slope with the same slope i am extending one line up to inverter voltage from this point also i am extending one line up to this inverter voltage ee the inverter voltage reduced this is rectifier voltage reduced this is inverter voltage reduced ee two points nunchi ee same slope to with the same slope i am dry i am extending this line from here to here so how will extend with the same slope ab slope similarly cd slope is also ab slope slope is same i am extending from rectifier line to inverter line with the same slopes these two are intersecting at point f and d so d is rect this point c is rectifier characteristic this is id1 dash here id1 is the current of the rectifier id1 dash is the new current mark new current of the rectifier similarly id2 dash here id2 is the inverter is the inverter current x axis id2 dash is the new one so the difference of id1 dash minus id2 dash is the idm dash current margin so vdcoil is a voltage dependent current order limit based on this voltage reduced voltage we are defining the new current new currents of the rectifier and inverter if the voltage is reduced automatically here we are the currents we have to reduce otherwise the resistance will be overloaded current and one more thing whatever the difference in between id1 and id2 idm suppose if we are having more id if this idm difference in between these currents if this if these two are equal no problem if the current margin increases here suppose idm is 1 ampere here idm dash is 1.1 ampere then automatically the resistance will be overloaded if we are reducing the voltage the current margin should be same or less than this value if it is more than this value automatically the resistor will be overloaded and your circuit will be damaged that's why voltage dependent current order limit this is the current order limit and it is depending on the voltage that's why it is called voltage dependent current order limit any doubt in this voltage dependent current order limit if you are having doubt you can ask me. 